And now I know my heart is a ghost town My heart is a ghost town out with a primer the one I'm using is max prep and prime natural radiance in radiant yellow and I'm gonna be applying this all over my face with my fingers the foundation I'm using is from Mac as well this is the studio sculpt foundation in the shade NC 35 this is my first time trying out this foundation the girl at Mac had recommended it to me because I mentioned to her that I have really dry skin and she said that this foundation will work really well on my skin because it's dewy but to be completely honest with you guys I am NOT a fan of dewy skin I like somewhat matte or completely matte foundations I had initially gone in there to get my studio fix fluid foundation the one I always use but I still wanted to give this a try so you guys can see what it looks like and the brush I'm using is from Morphe. This does not have a name or a number. It's just a big fluffy brush. And as you guys can tell already, my skin is looking really glowy. And this is definitely out of my comfort zone. But it's very appropriate for this tutorial because we are going for that bronzy, glowy look. The concealer I'm using is the Pro Long Wear Concealer from MAC. This is in the shade NW20. And to blend that, I'm using my highlighting brush from Real Techniques Highlight and Contour Collection. And I am going to be using mainly MAC products and Makeup Geek products. So if you guys want to see the same exact look with drugstore products, please let me know down below. You guys know I love making drugstore tutorials. And now I'm setting my concealer with a translucent powder from Laura Mercier and to do that I'm using my Morphe M510 brush. I'm using Max Paint Pot and Painterly and I'm going to be applying this with my fingers. This will help the eyeshadow stay on longer. The first eyeshadow I'm using is from Makeup Geek. This one's called Creme Brulee and I'm going to be applying this on my crease with my Sigma E40 blending brush. Next I'm taking the shade Saddle from MAC and I'm using the same E40 brush and I'm going to be applying it on my crease as well. With the same E40 brush, I'm going to be using the shade Coco Bear from Makeup Geek and I'm going to be applying this on my lid as well but I'm also going to drag it on the outer corners. Now I'm going to take the shade called Embark from MAC and I'm going to be applying this on the outer corners with my 217 brush from MAC. And now I'm taking this shade from MAC, this one's called the Bronze, and I'm going to be applying this all over the lid with my 239 brush from MAC. Over the bronze shadow, I'm going to be applying a pigment from Makeup Geek, this one's called Utopia. And I'm going to be using a concealer brush, you can use any concealer brush to apply that, and I'm spraying a little bit of Fix Plus on it. On the inner corners, I'm using a shadow from Makeup Geek. This one's called Ice Queen, and to apply that, I'm using my C222 brush from Morphe. I'm gonna line my eyes with a liquid eyeliner from NYC. Whenever I have pigment or glitter on my eyelids, I always use a liquid liner. Now I'm smoking out the eyeliner with a black eyeshadow and I'm using a pencil brush from Sigma. This is the E30 brush. I'm applying some mascara before the false lashes and I'm using L'Oreal's Voluminous Mascara in Carbon Black. And for my lower lashes, I'm going to be using L'Oreal's Telescopic Mascara. The lashes I'm using are from Lena Lashes and these ones are called Heidi.
To set my foundation, I'm using Max Mineralize Skin Finish in Medium Dark, and to apply that, I'm using Sigma's F30 brush. To bronze and warm up my face, I'm using another Mineralize Skin Finish. This one's called Give Me Sun, and I'm going to be using my Morphe G7 brush. Here's another mineralized skin finish from MAC. This one's called Global Glow and this has such a pretty bronzy gold glow to it. And I'm going to be using my Morphe M509 to apply that. Now I'm taking the shade we used earlier called Embark from MAC and I'm going to be applying it on my lower lashes, focusing more on the outer corners. And for the inner corners, I'm going to be using the Makeup Geek pigment called Utopia. my waterline, I'm using a nude eyeliner from Rimmel. You can use a black eyeliner, but for this look, I wanted to try a nude one. And now I'm lining my lips with a lip liner from MAC. This one's called Strip Down. This is such a pretty brown color. And the lipstick I'm using is called Blankety, also from MAC. Moving on to the eyebrows, I'm using a black gel liner from Inglot. This is in the number 77 and I'm using a angled brush from Coastal Sense to fill in my eyebrows. And now I'm setting my eyebrows with a tinted brow gel from Ico. The last thing I'm doing is applying a light matte shadow on my brow bone. This one is from MAC and this one's called Blanc Type. And this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it and please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!